हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज अबाउट मॉडर्म कंट्रोल ओके हाउ ए मॉडर्म इज कंट्रोल एंड दिस वन इज योर लास्ट टॉपिक एंड हियर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द एट्टी कमांड सेट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट कमांड्स दैट आर यूज टू कंट्रोल ए मॉडर्म दैट थिंग वी विल स्टडी द थ्योरिटिकल स्टडी सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट यू नो दैट द फर्स्ट जेनरेसन डाटा कम्युनिकेशन मॉडर्म आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द बेल सिस्टम कंपासीबल मॉडर्म because the bell organization first developed the data communication modem okay but the bell system compressible modems are called as the domp modems okay why that is called domp modem because it has very uh, less functionality or features are available most of the functions are carried out by the human operators like the what the functions initiate a call complete a call terminate a call that are done by the human operators so those are present at the both end of the circuit okay that's why the bell system compressible modem or the fast generation communication modems are called as what dom modem but in 1970 uh, another standard modem was developed that is called what your smart modem and sometimes it is also called as what intelligent modem okay it includes the features of the standard modem uh, so main feature is that uh, a built in microprocessor is present there okay and that microprocessor performs some routine functions like your automatic answering then uh, call initiating and dialing bg signal recognition error correction okay these are the different functions routine function that are performed by the built in microprocessor that is present in the intelligent modem or smart modem okay then these smart modem functions are controlled by some set of commands or you can say the system of commands okay uh, that is sent over an ascii code okay ascii code you know that american standard code for information interchange okay over an rs232 interface an interface standard is there rs232 interface okay uh, that is one type of serial interface okay uh, through which the commands okay the commands are passed and that commands are taking the help of uh one uh, code uh, code uh, standard that is the ascii code okay so uh, that set of commands or the system of commands are basically called as what your 80 command set okay 80 command set so first uh, we should know what is that 80 okay here the 80 uh, full form is attention okay or that is called the attention command set so first uh, 80 okay it is attention and sometimes it is also called as highest modem command set okay why it is called the highest modem command set because it was developed by the highest uh, microcomputer product organization that's why the 80 command set sometimes also called as the highest uh, command modem command set okay next we'll see the modem transmission modes like you know that your data uh, data communication uh, introduction chapter the mode of data transmission is either in simplex half duplex full duplex so here also the modem transmission modes are categorized into two types okay one is what your originate mode and second one is what your answer mode okay but uh, the modems uh, present at the receiver side as well as what the sender side okay uh, the modem that is present in the originate mode and the answer mode they differ physically physically different and they may use the different carrier frequency and they may use also different modulation schemes okay uh, so see here in this diagram uh, the modem uh, that is present at the what transmitter site okay that is initiating a call okay initiating a call or transmitting so that's why that is called as what your uh, the originate mode okay but the modem that is present at the receiver site as it is receiving the call from the modem at the transmitter site so it is called in the answer mode okay uh, and also the reverse uh, process is possible that means uh, the uh, modem at the transmitter set can be converted to answer mode if the modem at the receiver is transmitting back some information to the modem at the uh, what, transmitter side okay so it can be converted to answer mode and it can be converted from answer mode to originate mode okay next we will go for uh, the different uh, modem operational modes so four different operational modes are there one is local command mode then handshake mode online mode and offline mode so these are the four different operational modes are there so first uh, let's see about the local command mode 
so in all modem commands in the at command set begin with the ascii characters a n t okay first that is written at t okay then after at t you have to write down the command name followed by appropriate command or the set of commands so a modem is in command mode when it is not communicating directly with another modem okay and disconnected from the telephone line so first uh, uh, your modem is in the local command mode so at any point of time your modem is present either in any one of these mode okay yes, and not at the same time a modem cannot be present in more than one mode okay so first mode that is in local command mode so at that time modem modem is not transforming the actual data okay here the modem is uh, actually getting some commands from the data terminal equipment that is uh, through which it is connected or from the local computer it is getting some what commands okay uh, so when in the command mode a modem what monitors the information sent to it from the local computer looking for the ascii characters at and uh, that time after detecting the at sequence okay the command sequence the modem interprets the characters following the sequence as commands so for example if it is written ata then its meaning is answer a call another command is atd okay d means dial a telephone number att that means use a dtmf signal that is a dual tone multi frequency signal so that is what the fast mode the local command mode then the second mode is what your handshake mode in this mode what happens the two modems are controlled but no data is actually transferred okay so each modem confirms a reception of valid analog carrier from the distant modem so see here one modem is present at the transmitter side and after a connection is established okay then uh, the transmit modem will send some training sequence okay a binary training sequence to the receiver modem so that the modem present at the receiver side it will adjust its adaptive equalizer okay from modem synchronization you know that about training sequence and the adaptive equalizer then the other functions of the handshake uh, mode is it will check for some compatible bit rate it will negotiate some error correction technique and also the data compression techniques then after the handshake procedures are completed then the calling modem uh, or that initiate the transmission that will uh, send one message to the uh, dt it is connected okay just recall that first your dt is there then dc is there data communication equipment is there okay so the modem will send one connected message that uh, the handshake procedure is successfully completed okay then the calling modem will go to the next mode next mode is what your Uh, online mode okay next mode it will go so uh, connected message here contains some negotiated transmission rate and comp uh, compression protocol those things but if the handshake procedure is not completed or you can say it is unsuccessful that time what happens the calling modem will send a no carrier message to the dt or the computer it is attached okay and or uh, to the telephone line it indicates an on hook uh, command okay and the calling modem will goes back to the local command mode okay so see here uh, so first your modem is in the local command mode okay after getting the local commands or setup then it is going to the handshake mode okay in the if the handshake mode is successful then it will go to the what online mode otherwise it will go from the handshake mode to the local command mode okay so our next uh, uh, mode is what the online mode sometimes online mode is called as what your data transfer mode why it is called data transfer mode because in this mode the modem is actually transmitting the data so whenever a communication is established with a remote modem that is a modem at a distant place to the local modem that is the modem present at the transmit side it switches to the online mode so see here in this diagram that one is what your local modem and this one is your remote modem so whenever a connection is established okay then the local modem will goes to what online mode so in online mode a modem is transparent in nature and interp it in interprets the characters received from its local computer and distant modem but during the data transmission if you want to stop stop the data transmission then you can press or enter three consecutive plus signs okay so if you uh, and that three consecutive plus signs are called as the escape code okay 
so uh, the modem from the online mode it will go to the command mode okay so at that moment again you can set some commands and uh, from the online mode it can go to the offline mode if any carrier loss is there loss of carrier from the remote modem or the distant modem okay so your modem uh, will switch over from one mode to another mode but uh, from online mode to command mode it will go after pressing the what escape code that is the three consecutive plus signs okay then the last mode is what your offline mode uh, here uh, no data transmission is actually uh, carried out only what the modem connections are open here and uh, certain functions are uh, performed like or open or close a memory buffer, enable a local echo, read the local director, terminate a call, uh, those functions are performed. Next we will see the different command types. Okay, the 80 command set commands are categorized into four types. One is what your basic commands, then command extensions, proprietary commands and registered commands. And first one is what basic commands. So uh, these are the fundamental core of the modem commands to place a modem off hook, uh, dial a number, answer. That means the basic perform basic operations are performed by using the what the basic commands. Okay, and those basic commands are universally supported by all the modems. And all the basic commands are starting from the letter A to up to Z. Okay, one one letter is used. And uh, sometimes some optional variables are used to define two or more conditions. Uh, like see here, one example I have taken the letter A command. It means answer a call. Uh, o command that is uh, place modem online. L command that is the select speaker volume. So different uh, commands, basic commands are there. Next uh, we will see the command extensions. As the name is extensions, command extension. So here the features or functions of the basic commands are extended. Okay. So to extend the functionality of a basic command, one uh, symbol that is called ampersand. Ampersand symbol is attached as a prefix. Prefix before the what? Uh, the basic command uh, symbol. So see here, uh, before C, the ampersand symbol is used. Ampersand C, that means the carrier detect signal. Okay, that command meaning is carrier detect signal. Uh, ampersand K, uh, the meaning is flow control. Uh, ampersand T, perform the modem test. Okay, A number of uh, uh, what command extensions are there. Uh, next, third one is what proprietary commands. Proprietary commands are optional or it varies. It is not uh, what universally supported and it varies from uh, one manufacturer to another manufacturer. And generally proprietary commands are identified the uh, two different symbols like percentage symbol or the backslash uh, characters are used. Okay. Uh, as a prefix. Then uh, last command is what? The register commands. Okay. Uh, these commands uh, are uh, what? Uh, pertain to specific location and modems onboard memory. As you know, uh, the uh, memory consists of some uh, register locations. Okay. Register is the fastest memory in any communication or uh, what in any uh, computing equipment you know that thing so uh, the commands that is used to perform the register operations or register related function those are called as what you register commands okay so modem modem functions are defined by values associated with different register memory locations and uh, those values can be programmed or set okay that's why the registers are often called as what your S register. For example, uh, suppose the command is S0, then uh, it, its meaning is ring to answer on. Okay, the command is S1, that means count the number of rings. How many rings are there? You have to count. So these are about what your register commands. Okay, thank you so much.